Peace fam. I hope you guys are doing well. It's the pressure cooker. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and my comments on this crazy ass video right here. It has to do with the delivery driver in San Francisco who recorded his interactions with a racist resident in the town who constantly was asking for ID. Basically, it was because of what he looked like. People are reporting that this man is black. Um, let's go. Please get out of my face. Put your mask on. There you go. I'm outside. I don't need a mask. What the fuck do you want? I want identification. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Why do I, why do you think that I have to answer your fucking questions? Let's check in real quick. So the first thing I noticed is this man came up there, sitting up there talking about some, where's your identification? This man is on the street doing his job. And this rando is questioning him as to what are you doing here? You see, he got the camera up in his face. Don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing. Get out of my face. Every time I come around here, motherfuckers like you make my job harder. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the extra spiciness, okay? The four, the five red cayenne peppers that this man is serving. This ridiculous asshole here on the street harassing him. Okay, he's not taking it. Okay, just because he worked for somebody else, he said, bitch, you're not fitting to punk me, Okay. You're not going to make me scared. Let's go. Please get out of my face, dude. But you haven't identified yourself. Uh, that's none of your business. Why do I have to get, why do you think that I have to identify myself? Oh, no, I ain't saying nothing. So he's following him with the camera. It's none of your business. Where are the boxes? You really going to do this? You heard this bitch. He said, where are the boxes going? Like, <laughs> there's so many things I want to say right now. Where are the boxes going? Sir, do you work for the same company that I do? Because last time I checked, it's none of your fucking business. What's your name? Let's see some identification. What's your name? What's your address? Pull it up. Come on. You live right there, right? Let's go over there and see what your address is. <laughs> Cha. So he said, you can play that game. He's, he's asking the courier guy, what, you know, what's your name? What's, you know, asking him all this stuff. And he was like, oh, is that where you live? You got something to say about it. Right? That's what you want to do? You want to ask for identification? You're the one in the neighborhood. Here. Yeah, that's... Ooh, child. He said, you're the one in the neighborhood. So riddle me this. What's wrong with him being in the neighborhood, sir? You saw how he tried to switch that up when he was starting to go over there and record his house? He said, you're the one in the neighborhood. That just reveals right there that he has a problem with the mere fact that this man, a man of color, a black man, is walking through your neighborhood doing his job. Talking about some, you're the one in the neighborhood. Right. So what? It's a free fucking country, ain't it? You did this. Don't start shaking and crying. <laughs> Listen. Lord of mercy. He said, you did this. One of my favorite phrases, by the way. He said, don't start shaking and crying child when it's white women that do this racist shit they call them karens what do they call the white men that do this shit because he's really over here shaking and crying after he started harassing this man quickly he was the victim he turned into a whole karen in like two minutes make it make sense what's your name what's john. your name buddy john john what so what he asked them what his name was and he said john okay y'all saw how bright his eyes got we know his name is not john let's keep going that's all you get john what that's all you get i'm over here asking for identification mm -hmm. john, john what i don't give a fuck fuck you and your missing package Ooh. you think i'm crying over that shit john what you want to ask for identification where's your fucking identification Oh, no, I think we just stepped it up to five cayenne peppers, guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> the delivery man said, I'm on that ass. You thought you could punk me. You thought you could come over here and question me as to where I was going and what I was doing and who these motherfucking packages are for. Okay, I'm the package now, bitch. What's that? Good. Don't fucking look for a police officer, you pile of shit. Yeah. Don't mm -hmm. I don't know why you came over here and stopped. Oh. Because you think I belong in another neighborhood, right? Fuck yourself. Ch 
child. He's giving him that work, okay? He's gonna get drop kicked. Tell him, brother. Tell him. For the fucking reason why. Fuck you. So my favorite part so far about this video is this man is giving him that extra work. Okay, he's getting that extra work and he's following him, but at a distance enough to let him know you're doing this to me. Look at what it feels like when I do it to you. This is where this asshole lives. Ooh. When I first came on this street, he hollered at me from that window right there. He said, he asked me what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So none of his business. And he came down Watch and he this. Watch this. <laughs> so Shy, he went up to the house. He said, this is where he lives. This is what he's been doing. Mm. Shy. Oh. Let's pause here to talk about what this man is actually doing. I believe he's delivering Narcan, okay, to a halfway house, okay? He's delivering Narcan to people who are in need, you know, the drug that saves people's lives. Meanwhile, he's over here fighting with this two foot man while Bada and Man can't go on about in business. 2255 Clay Street. When keeping it real goes wrong. Good for you. Mm-hmm. He Heard said. Right? So good luck with that. Who's really breaking the law? Ciao. Let's stop there for a moment. So he said, I'm calling the cops. Okay, John, you Ben said you was gonna call the cops. Okay, you slow. You slow. So he said, mm, go ahead, go ahead. Have you heard about the Karen Act? Now guys, when he said the Karen Act, I had to look that up because I didn't know what that was. Apparently California had passed the law last year called the Karen Act. And basically, it um, anybody who calls makes a call on the basis of discrimination, they will get in. It's, it becomes a problem for them. So he was going to catch charges. If he actually did call the cops, he's going to catch charges because this is illegal. He has no grounds to be harassing this man and, and to be calling the police on this man. Good thing you did this, huh? Good thing this is how you woke up in the morning. <laughs> what to do. This is what you Watch him. To do. Watch him. Just look. You see the, the foot, them lucky bits? You see the foot them look a bit, but him have mouth and him bother this poor man. What's your last name, John? Eh? <laughs> hey, John, what's your last name? See, this is what you call trolling the telemarketer right here, okay? Y'all remember back in the day when them goddamn telemarketers, they had no sense, and they just be blowing up your phone and calling you over and over and over? Well, guess what? My little sister, <laughs> she, whenever she answered the phone and they wasted her time, she would troll them right back and be ridiculous to the point where they hung up the damn phone. That's what's happening here with John. What's your last name, John? Watch him. Call them now. Well, I have to say, guys, this is the longest telephone call to the police me ever see in my life. I don't know what taking John so long. You should call him. For what? Tell me what you're calling him for. Oh, now it's harassment. <laughs> he said, because you're, you're harassing me. I was walking down the street. Now I'm harassing you? Didn't you call for me from that fucking window right there? Mm-hmm. Didn't you call my, didn't you call for me? I was across the street. You called out to me. I didn't come over here looking for you. Child, listen. This is what I call an on-point brother right here, okay? Because not only <laughs> is he not scared, okay? Not only is he calling this man out on his bullshit, but he came with the facts and the receipts, and John can't take it. Don't harass me, okay? Don't harass me, okay? I'm just so fragile. I harassed you, but now I'm going to spin it and say you're harassing me. Who are they going to believe? No, call the cops. Call the cops, please. Please, call the cops. Look on the phone. The phone. You see the phone screen, Doc? I'm not call one blasted thing. Motherfuckers that look like me die because of motherfuckers that look like you. 
preach. Have you not opened up a fucking newspaper? Can you not look around and see what the fuck is going on because of this bullshit right mm. here? Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, man. And now, motherfuckers like me, haha, got little fucking handhold recording devices in our pockets. So bullshit assholes like you can't get away with the bullshit you be pulling anymore. Baby. Listen, John, he don't like this type of teaching. Okay, he don't like this type of teaching. He's hiding under his mask. You see him tucking chin under the mask? Earlier, he didn't even have a damn mask on. Chow. Mm. So go ahead. Call the fucking cops. Call the fucking cops, man. You already said you're going to call them, right? I'm not evading. I'm not leaving the scene of a crime. That's what you said you're going to do, right? He said, oops, I'll wait. So call the cops. It's none of your business. You shouldn't have fucking stepped on my toes in the first place. Oh. And a younger me would have beat your fucking ass, but I'm not going to do that. Call the cops. Call the cops. See, this is where I disagree with him. Because even though I would have felt like I wanted to rip <laughs> him out of his damn frame, okay? I would never have made anything that resembles any type of physical threat because that's exactly the type of shit that he wants. He wants to be oppressed so bad. He wants to be the victim so bad. Call the cops, man. That's what she said. Did you call the cops? That's what she said, right? Blue You're skies. The police on me. No, I'm telling you this. If you don't stop threatening me, I'm going to call the police. <laughs> I think this has to be my favorite part right here. He said, I'm telling you, man, if you don't stop threatening and harassing me, I'm going to call the cops. Now, this is about the 50 11th time that John... Okay, that John said he was gonna call the cops. Where are the cops there, John? It's Uncle Tree number your alpha dial, you know. <laughs> Threatening you with what? With words of truth? Does the truth get on your fucking nerves? Look at my face. Look at my face. Yep. That's Baby. It. We already got your fucking face on camera. Oh? You scared you're gonna lose your job now? Or your fucking billion dollar funding? Oh? Don't nobody feel bad for you. Watch him. It seems so tired. In uh, him and the hit. No, look on him. Him, have, him so tired. Him so exhausted from the harassment. That's him after putting on pani hip. Like one woman. Mm -mm. Don't nobody feel bad for you. Fuck out of here, man. You're living up in your fucking mansion bothering me. I'm a hardworking man. What the <laughs> fuck do you do for a living? Why, why is it your business? Mm. Oh, now it's because you ordered something. A second ago, it was because of, I was I might be a pork pirate. But now it's because you fucking ordered something. You came out of the fucking living So wait, this dude, remember earlier? He was trying to ask him basically why he was here, why he was in the community. Okay, he never said at any point, oh, do you have a package for me? He wouldn't. He refused to identify himself, even though he was harassing this man to identify himself. But now all of a sudden, in our one package. I wonder which package am I look for? Room across the street to where the fuck I was at. Fuck that. You called the cops, right? Please, Did you call the cops? Did you call the cops? <laughs> he said, because I'm waiting. <laughs> I haven't yet, no. Are you going to call him? No. Fuck out of my face, man. You mean? Ooh. So we're going to stop right there, okay? That's pretty much most of the video. This video is 7 minutes and 50 seconds long, and we watched 6 minutes and 39 seconds. When I tell you this man got him together, this is what needs to happen every day. There was no violence, okay? Thank God he didn't lose his life. That man got schooled. He, um, The courier guy whipped out his phone and started recording immediately. And this is a regular occurrence for him, as he said when he's in the anyway. That's all I got for you guys. That covered most of the video. If you want, you can check it out on Instagram yourself. It is on... Lost Soul Courier Collective, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.